Okay, we have with us from Gannon head coach Matt Darling, also Emma Hall and Allie Sorensen. Um, coach, I'm sure you haven't had time to process everything, but talk about with this team, not only this year, but for several years now, it means to you. Yeah, we're just really proud of the team's uh, season. They had a great, great season. That was the first thing I talked about in the locker room afterwards. Just you know, just how proud I am of the team, um, all the things we've done. Uh, we got ourselves out of some sticky spots throughout the season. Um, and this one was just a little bit too sticky for us to get out of, but um, that doesn't take away from the accomplishment. It doesn't uh, it doesn't diminish the moments from the season that we'll remember down the road. Um, this will be on our mind for a little while, but I think we'll get over that and uh, we'll start thinking about all the good things we did. Seemed like all night you were kind of reaching, looking for that right combination. Um, you know, trying some different things this evening. Yeah, I mean, I was. Just talking to these guys on the way in, I mean, you look at a stat sheet and you see Haley Cook and then you see a bunch of bad nights and um, you, can't, you can't be good teams that way. I think it's too good to have every single person have a little bit of an off night. Uh, I think a lot of that off night had to do with them, but honestly, I thought uh, our decision making, probably on the coaching staff as well as on the court, was not what it needed to be. Uh, I thought our uh, attention to detail was not what it needed to be. We were completely off the game plan for two full sets, put us in a bad spot, um, and uh, yeah, we'll live with those consequences because that's what we do. Emma, can you talk about uh, the, the season and you know how, how you feel about what you guys accomplished this year? I'm so proud of this team. I don't have a lot to say right now. I'm pretty upset about tonight, but I think my. Uh, my other captains, Maddie and McKenna, I'm just so happy to have done it with them this season. We've come back from some battles, and I wouldn't want to do it with any other team, and I'm really happy that we got to play this one. Allie, your thoughts on the season and your teammates? Um, I love my teammates. We fought hard. Um, it's been a long season. Like Coach said in the locker room, we won the past 10 games in a row. Um, yeah, we fought hard. They had a better game than us. It is what it is. I think that just gives us another thing for next year, just to get us fired up. Um, we have the spring, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm just coming back excited for next year. Coach, can you talk about the momentum swings? This was like a perfect example of how college volleyball just goes back and forth, and especially when you have two, two very talented teams like that. Yeah, two good blocking teams. Uh, blocking creates a lot of momentum. Uh, I think, we, you know, the, the first set is a good example of it, right? So we, we walked out to a 6-0 lead uh, where everything was kind of going our way. And, um, and we just got a little bit complacent. And, you know, like that's where the momentum starts to go. You, you don't pay attention to one thing. You miss a serving zone. You miss make a service error. You let a ball drop because you're like, well, we're, you know, we're up 6-0 or whatever. And, um, and that opens the floodgates. And that definitely happened to us. I have vivid memories, two or three instances uh, in the match tonight where, you know, just somebody didn't go for a ball or somebody just missed an easy an easy opportunity and then the next thing you know it's four straight points. Um, and, uh, yeah, and like I said, IEPs, they, they're very smart. They know what their deal is. They're going to serve it top and then they're going to go block you. And if you're dumb enough to fall for it, like we were tonight, it leads to 15 blocks, it leads to those huge momentum swings, it leads to a lot of aces. Um, so really, really good job by them. Uh, our coaching staff was not, you know, in the. We weren't. We, we didn't match their uh, their coaching acumen tonight, and um, you know, have to suffer from that. But uh, credit to them. They created, the, they, they created that momentum with a really good game plan, and we didn't stem it with an equally good team. Can you talk about the fight you guys showed in that fourth set? Got way down 22-11, and then caused two two different timeouts by them to before they could finally close it. Yeah, I thought it was good. I mean, we, we, I, I'm, I'm always honest with these guys. I said, I don't think we're winning this set. I don't even care if we do. Yeah. Uh, we want to try to get a little momentum back for the fifth set, um, which we did. So we did. I mean, part one we did. Part two we didn't. Yeah. And Emma, can you talk about, you know, going into the fifth set? Um, you guys are seven and one this year in, in fifth sets. I, I assume you had to feel confident going in. Yeah. Um, before the set, I was talking to my teammates about how comfortable and confident that we were in this because we've been here so many times. I think maybe we were a little too relaxed and didn't really have our mindset right. So yeah. not much you can do now, so. Yeah, understood.
Ladies, coach, thank you very much. I think I speak for everyone here. We're so proud of everything you've accomplished the past few years, and we look forward to the future. We appreciate everything you guys have done. I, you know, you guys are—I know you're the home team here, but you're hosting a great event. And um, you know, just—I don't know if people are going to watch this or not, but just the hope that the, the volleyball fans in here you turn out to watch what's going to be a really great match between two quality teams that deserve to have an audience for that match tomorrow night. IEP and Clarion are both great organizations. Uh, they're going to put on a championship performance tomorrow. I hope that people come out and watch.